Hello everyone, my name is Zamani and welcome to another October List game, this time Silver Creek Falls Chapter 2. I just finished Chapter 1 and I just started getting to the really good parts of the game where I was really into it. And then it was Cliffhanger. Luckily I didn't have to wait at all because Chapter 2 just came out. Yay me, because I don't like cliffhangers. Anyways, let's just get straight into this. Norfolk Police Station. Alright, at the end of the last one, we just got kicked off the case by the FBI because they're buttholes and we're gonna take the evidence that we still have back to our captain in Norfolk see what we can get done. Man, it sure feels different without Phil here. Chief called me to come... Called me to come talk to him. I should get sh go straight to him before doing anything. Controls. Yes, I know how to do those now. Chapter 2 features more puzzles and riddles than the previous chapter. Well, the includes an evidence will always be stored in your inventory. Make sure to always pay attention to details mentioned in conversations and interrogations as they will help you in finding leads in the investigation. Is this the actual investigation part? Because we didn't do a ton in the last one. I mean, we gathered some evidence, but... Alright. Lots of desks. Really shouldn't touch it. Touch, 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 touch! Touch what I want! Wait, I already sent the request to DC last Friday after I dropped Phil off at the airport. No new emails. Is Phil the guy that I was with? Because that other girl showed up and said his name was Mark, and I don't trust him. I knew I didn't like his face. Looks like the tech guy replaced the white eye on this keyboard with a black one. Nice. He has a black eye. Ah ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! That was stupid. This is my desk for computer. No shit. Let's play a prank on this guy. He didn't log out. Honestly, that's sometimes what I think about people who get things on. This guy says you're super sensitive, but he doesn't see me any- Best, he doesn't see me anywhere near his computer. No, before I go talk to that guy, why don't I look at... The other things! Do we just leave guns hanging on the wall like this? I already have my trusted Beretta. I don't need a firearm. You can never have too many firearms. Cody's locker. It smells really bad. I think he was his gym close in there. His locker is Raymond's. Yep, that's not my locker. Where is your locker? Oh wait, you don't work here? You do work here? I'm confused. You transferred. I'm not hungry. Ooh, someone's microwaving. A pizza hot pocket. You know, I actually kind of like Hot Pockets. Certain Hot Pockets. Pizza Hot Pockets are good. I also like the, like the mozzarella one. Still need to talk to the chief. And... I don't know what else. I don't eat them very often. Probably because if I eat them too frequently, I'll get like, I'll break out everywhere. I'm just gonna sneak past you and go on your computer. Do not touch my stuff! <laughs> what is this sticking out here? Oh. What about this? Oh. What about this one? Can I touch this one? Okay. This guy doesn't like me touching his stuff. Hey, Chief. How you doing? You heard about Phil, right? Yeah, I got a call from the High Commissioner this morning. It's such a shame Phil had to go back to England. He's a liar! His name is not Phil. His name is Mark. Needed a bag for something. I dropped him off the airport last Friday. He wanted to visit DC before going home. Told me you'd have a better time visiting Boston, but his flight to London was connected through DC anyways. No, he's going to DC for some other reason. He's sketchy. Yeah, I know you two were working well together. Don't worry, you'll have a new partner next week. So, so you, comma, wanted to talk to me. It's about my request from DC. You know, when you and Phil came to me last week requesting an extension on that case in North Carolina, I thought you guys were out of your minds. But this old cop got it wrong. Apparently DC listened. There is an FBI agent here to see you. Are you serious? I thought they'd ignore our request. Apparently your James Bond had connections in DC or something. He goes there for one weekend and the week after comes an FBI agent. I don't know if Phil had something to do with it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, enough chatting. He's in the operations room upstairs. Don't keep our guests waiting. I'm still sketched out by him. <laughs> Why did we use that sound to go through the doorway? I didn't appreciate that. No time for TV. The agent is waiting to talk to me. Oh, he can wait. 
You know, everywhere I go, it's three o'clock. Why is it always three o'clock? Back to the locker room downstairs. I guess they're not doing. The, I guess they're not done fixing the water leak down there. There's a lot of kitchens here. No time for a snack. I think this guy is FBI agent who wanted to talk to me. I wonder what he thinks. I just like I walk in like, ah, there's the guy I need to talk to. Let me go everywhere else but him. Hi, my name is Sarah Fitzgerald. I take it you're the FBI agent from DC. Yes, my name is Special Agent. Valdez. It's a pleasure to see you again. What do you mean, see me again? Again? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, Special Agent Valdez. I don't remember meeting you before. Oh, really? I guess you had other things on your mind that day. I was the agent standing in front of Lee, Lee Davis's house in Silver Creek Falls. When were you in front of his house? Oh, yeah, now I remember. I don't remember talking to you. First, I'd like to apologize for the behavior of my boss on you that day. If it's in any comfort to you, Special Agent West was like that to everyone was? Special Agent West was assassinated two nights ago at the Silver Creek Falls Hotel. Oh, he was staying at the same room you stayed at when you were there. Ah, what? Here's the file on his murder. Hmm, no forced entry, two gunshots to the chest and one to the head. Sorry for your loss, Agent. Well, okay, so they're taking all the bodies of the of the college students, but leaving the bodies of, like, the police officers, except for the sheriff that's missing? No one heard anything that night. I was in the room right next to him, and I heard nothing. You didn't hear the gunshots. Impressive. Did you check out the surveillance footage from the hotel security? Yeah, a man dressed in a suit, wearing a ski mask, walked in at 4.32 a.m., walked past the concierge and up the stairs. He opened the door seamlessly, as if he had a key. Then he went in, he left two minutes later, and walked out the door at 4.35 a.m. Concierge, remember seeing him? Nope, she said she was in the toilet at the time, since the assassin waited for her to go. At least he had the courtesy not to get her involved. The stills from the video footage are at the back of the file. I see. We entered Agent West's room the next morning. His phone, laptop, and suitcase were all gone, so he killed him and got all the stuff in two minutes with no one hearing? How about the case files? Four case files that took place in the Silver Creek Falls were all gone. His other case files were intact, though. Sketchy! <coughs> the assassin knew what he was looking for. The guy was clearly a professional. He was clean, fast, and efficient. Whoever ordered this shooting had money. Assassins that good aren't cheap. I'm sorry, Agent Valdez, but as interesting as this case is, I don't know why you're telling me all of this. The reason I'm here talking to you is that we want you back on this case. Huh? Agent West shared a few small details with me, but I s suspect the vast majority of what he knew was in those case files. With both him and Deputy Hill dead and Sheriff Lee Davis missing, you and Inspector Moore are currently the last remaining cops who know about the case. That's the issue. Sorry to tell you that Inspector Moore went back to England. Yes, your chief told me. Anyway, I saw your request in my office this morning, so I know you want back on the case. <laughs> no need to be smug about it. Cool. I'll drive you to your place so you can pack your bags. I normally keep a change of clothes and some basic necessities in my backpack. That should do right. You're rolling with the FBI now. Ever since I took this job, I've seen an insane amount of the country. You never know where a lead will take you next. I'd pack a few days of clothes if I were you. Okay then, here's my address. Can you meet me there in about an hour so I can pack? No problemo! I wanted to grab a pizza before heading out anyways. Thanks. Objective! Go home and pack bags before Special Agent Valdez comes to pick you up. I don't like that sound! I'm assuming this is my house. Nothing more for me to do at the police station. I should get going. Is my house this way? Hold on. Where's my house? It's not that way. Uh... I don't have a map or anything right now. Is it this way? Nope. Is it up here? Maybe? Is this my car? Hey. Of course, now I remember my car is in the shop. This rental is a nice change. Ah! Okay. Wait, my... Hello? 
Oh no! I think I broke the game! Oh no, I'll be right back. Alright, of course I'm an idiot and I didn't save, so I had to do the whole thing again, so let's see if it works this time. Ah, I'm moving this time. I did break it. Sarah Fitzgerald's apartment, Norfolk, Virginia. I've been wearing this jacket for a whole week now. I think I'll switch to that new jacket Phil bought for me as a goodbye present. That's nice of him. He's changed in the car. Oh, it's red. I like it. Much better. It looks good on you. That creepy noise going in my own home. It's fantastic how clean my dishes are. I guess it's because I never eat at home. Why do you leave them out on the table? Do you leave your TV on too? No time for TV, you gotta pack. So clean. So clean. So clean, you're so proud of yourself. Cool, so it was off. I had to get back and found I lost everything in a fire. And the fridge nearly empty, I'd have, hate to have a lot of food spoil on me during my absence. Here, I'll bring a snack for the trip. Apple added to inventory! That'll probably be important for some reason. No time to watch TV while this is waiting for me. Beautiful, my favorite signed poster of Fenway Park. Why is it signed? I miss my parents, I think I'll give them a call tonight. I got an apple! What is it for? Why does everyone have these old ass computers? Inbox, no new emails. Ha! Huh, no surprises there. First aid kit, that will be quite useful. Ah, I got a first aid kit. We'll be here soon, no time for a nap. I think I'll bring my iPod in case I have a hard time sleeping on the road. Not all hotels have cable, best I bring a book in case I get bored. Are these gonna be super important? My old uniform from when I was a Massachusetts state trooper. Seems like it was just yesterday when I was sworn in. I'm a detective now, no need for this anymore. I keep it as a memory. Let's grab some more clothes. We might find we might be in the field for a few days. Okay. Double back clothes added to inventory. Getting a lot of stuff. So what's this door over here? I already have my basic toiletries kit, no need for anything else from the bathroom. Alright, guess I'm done. My hair's falling out of place. Oh, he's already like right outside my house. Creepy. Got everything you need? I think this should have me covered. We're gonna be on the road for a few days, so don't be shy about bringing stuff. God knows I travel with half my clothes in my car. Life of an FBI agent, eh? I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. So using my car or yours? We can use mine. My gas allowance is quite generous. Silver Creek Falls isn't that far away. Just two and a half hours from Norfolk. We're not going to Silver Creek Falls. Oh? We're off to Philly. That's where our first lead is. What are we doing in Philly? Remember that car crash off Route 17 in Silver Creek Falls? Yeah. We chased the receipts we found and linked them to the credit card of a Philadelphia businessman called Connor Friedman. What? Really? Yep, his blood type matched the blood samples we found on site too. Now check this out, his wife reported him missing two days ago. Two days ago? I mean he'd been gone for like a week? She told me it's pretty normal for him to disappear for a few days straight, but two weeks with no word from him is pretty unusual. Two weeks is a long time! You spoke to her yourself? Yeah, once Agent West and I had ID'd the receipts and the blood from the car, we put in a word at the Philadelphia Police Department to look for him. We came by his house and asked her when when she saw him last and where he was. To their surprise, she then tells them that she hadn't seen him in two weeks. She then asks what they know about his whereabouts, and they make her call me. I arranged for us to go see her this afternoon, ask some questions, and check out his office. This afternoon? It's already 2 p.m. It's a five-hour drive from here to Philly. You're right there, I figured it would be okay to appear in the evening, but we best just reschedule and see her in the morning. Jeez, here I thought you fancy FBI agents would run a tighter ship. That was Special Agent West. He was super serious and told me off for being late all the time. I, on the other hand, like to take things easy. So yeah, let's drive over to Philly, check ourselves into a hotel, grab some Philly cheesesteaks, then get a good night's rest. Now this is a whole big holiday to you, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> very funny. I wasn't kidding. Don't underestimate the importance of sleep. You need a good night's rest to be your most efficient. On that subject, do you mind driving us over to Philly? I drove over from DC this morning and I'm super tired. No problem. You remind me of someone. Oh? Who? 
My old partner, Phil, we met him in Silver Creek Falls, that English guy. He seemed pretty cool. I'll take that as a compliment. Cool, let's get going. I'm assuming this is your car. Click. The Beaumont, Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here we are. Freaking late at night. Wow, that was a really long drive. Yep, so here we are. Welcome to the Beaumont, Philadelphia. Beaumont, Philadelphia? You've got to be kidding me. It's in the middle of an industrial park. Are we any anywhere near metropolitan Philadelphia? Well, Philadelphia is about 10 miles away, but this is a good hotel. Trust me. That's what you said about the Philly cheesesteak restaurant you brought me to. That place was awesome. I just wish I had bought more to bring up to the hotel room. Please don't. Let's just check in. Sure, you'll like it more when we get inside. It seems like we're not the best of partners. I don't like that sound. Why are there flowers on the ground? Why are they on the ground? What? Nothing? Look, flowers on the ground. Soccer, not my favorite sport. Hey buddy, any chance we can change the channel? You know no one here cares about soccer, right? Sorry ma'am, the hotel manager insists that we keep it on that channel. You have a selection of sports channels in your room. Well, kid, awesome, thanks. I'm glad she likes sports. Hi, two single rooms, please. Right away, sir. I'm still hungry. I think I'll go out and get another sandwich. Wanna join me? I'm fine. I'm already having problems keeping what I ate earlier down. Miss, you'll be in room 803. As for you, Mr. Valdez, I put you in room 903. Swipe key added to inventory. So he'll be in the room above me? Look, all those clocks say it's 3 o'clock. Isn't that weird? I to, oh, I don't have to watch you leave. I thought I did for some reason. Swipe doesn't work. Ah, oh, yes, the penthouse sign above the elevator explains a lot. Penthouse. Room 801. Door is open. Should I walk in? Of course! Who wouldn't just walk into other people's hotel rooms? Yes, read the letter. Mr. Ortega, thank you ever so much for your kind invitation to your grounds. I truly enjoyed the tour of your territory and was honored to have a first-hand view of your new products. Once these hit the market, I am sure you and your family will make a lot of money. On to business. I reviewed the points you made during our meeting, and I must say that my opinion has not changed from the day of our meeting. An alliance between our families is essential for our survival. For too long, the clown has... The clown... Has the clown been dominating our turf? If he wants war, then war he shall have. Enclosed with this note is a gift, a small token to celebrate our new alliance. Kind regards, Lu Xiaowen. Weird for this note to be here. This new product sounds illegal. I may have something here. Did I keep it? No, I didn't. But I should save in case something happens again. Empty. I have a TV in my own room. Okay. What are these things on the walls? 802. Now that's my room. Here we go, I guess. What a game by the Bruins. Thank gosh I have cable up here. No need to unpack. Valdez told me we'd only be here for a night. What a strong light. I wish I had a lampshade. Yes, yeah, seriously. Don't want to put anything in there. I might forget it when I check out tomorrow. Guess we're going to bed. Before I do, I'm gonna save. Yep, and that's all the time I have for this episode. I actually think I went a little bit over because I forgot that of the, the whole... I The game froze and I had cut out and come back. Anyways... Uh, so, here we are, starting off Soul Creek Falls Chapter 2. I'm really excited to see where this goes. I wonder if we'll run into Phil slash Mark uh, again soon. And we'll find out. Well, thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>